Let's talk about your pendulum. It's normally a shiny brass part that swings back and forth from the bottom of a clock movement. On battery operated quartz movements, they have nothing to do with the timekeeping. They just look good. Pendulums for quartz movements normally have two basic parts. The first is a straight metal rod that hangs from the movement and the second is a round bob or disc that's at the bottom of the pendulum. We offer a choice of three different 16 inch and three different 25 inch adjustable pendulums. That means that it's easy to adjust the length of the brass pendulum to anything less than 16 or the 25 inch lengths we offer. You decide what's best for your clock. On our pendulum rods, there are even scored break points about every inch on the back of the pendulum rod. This is for folks who don't have tools other than their hands. It's really easy to make adjustments to the length of our pendulums. You can choose between three sizes of pendulum bobs. A bob is the round disc found at the bottom end of the pendulum. We offer them a two and one eighth inch, two and three quarter inch, and three and a half inch diameters. You pick what's best for your clock design. If you plan to use your own pendulum, then it would be a good idea to check the weight. Different movements have different weight capacities. Generally, the C-cell movements have a three and a half ounce capacity and the AA battery movements have a two and a half ounce capacity. We also have devices that will operate up to a seven ounce and up to a 10 ounce pendulum. Let's get any questions you have answered. I'm Mike Brossman for clockparts.com. If you have questions, please give us a call at 888-827-2387 or go to the Contact Us section of the website. Send us an email. You can even send a couple of photos of what you're having a problem with or what you're looking for. We're here and we're ready to help.